Welcome back to the GE71. I am the Radio Man 03, and we are playing Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. Take a look. We are going with the white in the middle, the quartz outlined with the brick. It does look good. Three votes say yes, so I say okay. That's what we got. I hope you like those. I think that's a good uh, upgrade here on the GE71. We're going to upgrade this floor here real quick, too. I've got some ideas for this floor. I want to... Uh, continue to make this more look more like living quarters area for us so it's uh, got more of a homey feel to it so we're gonna do some work on this area right here some upgrades most definitely today we're gonna go back out to the stock silos TU 16 came out uh, the day I released episode 88 and I talked about the fact that the animals were suffocating uh, villagers suffocating as well so I thought we'd go out and do a little breeding of the animals. I'm going to watch them for a little bit because it's something we really need to get taken care of on our outpost here. We've got to make sure we have a good food supply and uh, we built this whole area because of that reason. So I want to make sure that these guys are still doing okay or are at least fixed is what I, what I should say. See now we we're back down to just the two again. So that other one that we bred died. So I'm going to watch them, and we're going to go over here, and I'm just going to spend like, I don't know, I don't know how much time. I'm going to breed them as often as I can and see how many I can get built up, and then see if they stay. What do we got in here? We had three, la yep, see, we had four. We're back down to three again. And we also want, uh, you know what, I want to go ahead and shear these guys real quick, because I love that black wool. That black wool is really awesome. It is a nice brick. I like the black and chalkiness to it, so that's really cool. So let's leave them. We'll, um, well, let's go ahead and dye them again. <laughs> I'm going to keep them black. We're going to change them white, and I'll tell you why I'm going to change them white. Real quick, do we have weed in here? Or, I mean, wool we do. We have four white wool in there. Okay. The villager that I said we screwed up, if I look back at him right now, he has, um, he does have uh, a, a, a trade for um, white, 14 wool, for an emerald that's what i'm looking to say to you right there 14 emerald is it's 14 white wool for an emerald so i can do that trade with him and put him back to where he is uh usable again with the wheat so i'm going to do that as well i want to make sure i get that taken care of today i want to fix him up only three ducks too okay grow up fast we're going to breed you guys for a little bit get get a handful of you in here in each of these pens the pigs we can't do anything about because well basically we have to go find a pig i guess i might do that while i'm waiting is see if i can't find a pig out here Ooh, i have no carrots hmm we need to get a carrot and i think i will i'll look around for a pig while i'm waiting for these guys and doing some breeding on them and then what i'll do is i'll bring you back and uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see what happens with that. But uh, first, let's go get a carrot. And anything else I wanted to make sure? I'm going to get the uh, biome change done far enough out this way that we can extend our farms. That's my goal, to get that done. Because I really want that to be our next big project, is to get the, uh, the good farms going. I think that would be a lot of fun. It's outside. Uh, get a tree farm going and all that good stuff. I think it'll really add to the outpost and make it look good. Uh, I'm in here looking for a carrot. Let's grab half a stack of carrots and take those back with us just in case we're successful. We're going to need those out there because that's how you, it's the only way you can breed pigs now, if I'm not mistaken, is just the carrots. So we want to make sure we have a bunch of those. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work on the farms. That'll be the next big project. Ender can is done, so we'll be moving on to that. And of course, the biome change itself is a huge project, but I'll, I'll work on that. I'll just chisel away at it here and there, so that's no big deal. It's kind of a relaxing thing to do, as I've mentioned before. So let me go ahead and do some breeding down here, get these animals all built up, and then I'll come back and we'll uh, we'll just go from there. So stick around. All right, five cows. Coming back, coming back. Five cows right now. Been working on the ducks as well. Have not found a pig yet. This is all working out pretty good. I've been able to breed quite a few. But this has never been the issue. I can always breed them. It's ooh, that egg just expired. <laughs> Expiration date reached. Um so far so good. No one's uh no one's suffocated so far. And I think I mentioned I'd not found a pig yet. But these guys are really slow to uh 
eat the grass very very slow I don't know if you guys have noticed that either but it seems to take a long time I guess the more you have the better off you are because more opportunity for them to somebody to have wool on them but boy these guys have been in here for a while and they're still not eating the wool you know what I should have two sheep in here that I can breed there's one not you not you it must be you there we go <clears throat> these guys is timings off a little bit a gray sheep what oh one of you still has black wool one of you two does okay see what I mean one of them hasn't even grown its wool back yet so it, it takes a while for the sheep to grow wool but everybody seems to be doing okay and I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing here and try to get a, a load of them in here and we'll just uh, I guess we'll yeah like I said we'll go from there and then we'll go out and we'll fix that villager as well all right as you can see we have bred the amount of numbered animals that we can actually have in here so let me show you we have uh, two four I think we only have like five or six cows actually yeah, two four six cows uh, most of uh, what I did was do the sheep because we have the villager with the uh, the wool trade so what I'll do is I'll probably knock down the sheep it just seems like a pretty low number and I've gone outside a few times looking for uh, animals you'd think they'd spawn kind of right in this area with me but uh, I've not found any wildlife uh, I call it wildlife but it's actually domestic life um, anywhere right now I've not been able to find anything nearby at least here and I would think the animals would spawn within a general radius of where I'm currently standing you know so I've been kind of searching the forest the desert out by the uh, sand quarry uh, off in each direction and I've not found any animals uh, any pigs especially to bring back not a chicken not a pig nothing so I'm wondering if maybe I have a cave hole somewhere that a bunch of them fell into and they're stuck like that used to happen all the time <laughs> a spider outside He's been crawling around the roof, and it looks like he finally... Oop. Oh, we still have one on the roof. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Put a few cobwebs up there, huh? We could actually do that, you know, assuming we're going to get spiders up there on a regular basis. But, uh, yeah, there he is. That's pretty cool, I think, up there. Obviously, we've got one outside here. Um, as far as the animals suffocating, so far, I'm not... See see this guy right here? Normally, he would, he would be turning pink. I don't know if you had that happening where they were suffocating. But watch. I can pull them all to the middle of the room here with me. Take this off and watch. Slowly but surely, they all walk back towards the walls. See him? Look at him go. He's right back to the wall. They all head right to the outer edge, as far as they can go, and then they stop, which I guess is what most mobs do, right? They walk to their limit, and then they just kind of roam in that area. But yeah, they all seem to... Uh, I'm trying to uh, bone meal them. <laughs> I need my shears. <laughs> Uh, but so far nobody's suffocating and that's that's good it's probably been about 30 minutes I would say 30 minutes or so I've been watching them uh, something else I noticed the sheep seem to grow up faster than the cows uh, the sheep kept growing growing up really quick so I've been able to of course as you can see multiply them quickly where the cows it took the the babies the calves just so long to uh, grow up it just took forever it seemed like uh, there's still one in there and uh, you know I've been breeding them since the beginning so that one's probably been in there for what would be the equivalent to a couple of Minecraft days oh excuse me <laughs> but yeah I can pull them out I can pull him right out of that wall and then they will all head back out slowly but surely that guy right there man he was just dying to get to the wall but uh, that's what I'm doing right now so I tell you what I'm going to keep getting we uh, white wool I'm gonna to try to get at least uh, two stacks so I'm almost there actually and uh, we'll go over and see if we can't trade the wool for the emeralds and then get uh, our villager back with the wheat trade open again we're gonna to have to harvest the wheat out there as well so let me get that wool and then oh look what I just did <laughs> get that bone meal out of my hand <laughs> um, I'll be right back stick around all right, uh, I don't quite have two stacks of wool, but we have some wool back at the uh, main GE, so we'll just grab some out of the storage room. See, that baby cow is still a baby. Anyways, they're not suffocating anymore, so that's the main thing. As long as we have, we can grow livestock. I'm, I'm good with that, but uh, we've reached the limit already, so I'll have to figure out what's going on with that. Ah, look at that. The sun, she is arising on a fine, another fine Minecraft day. There it is. Doesn't that look sweet over there with the GE coming in? Baby. I love it. Good stuff. 
Uh, we'll fix our villager. Let's grab a little bit more wool. They're going to be coming outside now, so this is perfect timing. We can meet them out there. Those stairs are smashing. Just absolutely smashing. Oop, the wool's right over here. Wool's right over here. Beautiful. Let's see here. Bump, bump. There we go. That should be enough. Look at all these shears we have from that villager. Oh my gosh, that guy gave me some shears. Instead of harvesting the wheat down there, let's just grab a bunch more. So let's see what we can do up there with that with the farmer that we have out there and just see if we can get him to uh, to work with us a little bit. And we'll get some emeralds built up again. I kind of blew it with the emeralds last time. I got all those shears and it was kind of a waste of time. <gasps> my cart's gone. Oh my gosh. The cart is gone. I ain't walking down there, I can tell you that much. Do we have any extras here? Uh, we surely do. We surely do. Look at that. Be prepared. Be prepared. That's exactly what we are here at the GE. Always got an extra one. Now I just have to remember to take this back. I must have wrote it down and then come back a different way. Obviously, right? I think I enderpearled up onto something from down here is what I did to get out. Oh, yep, see, there it is. So our cart is messed up. Our door's here. Let's push this over the top. There we go. Yeah, our security shutters should be open while we're down here. There's our cart. So I must... I, I screwed something up. <laughs> something. Something, something, something. Wolves aren't supposed to disappear anymore either. So I think that is uh, something else we shall have to try. Hello, big fella. You were standing oddly up there. See if we can get ourselves another rascal and hold on to him this time, and maybe he'll stick around. Uh, we need to find our... There's a farmer in there. Let's see which guy this one is. Excuse me, sir. You are the man with all the trades. Excellent. This is the one I wanted to do with you, and see if I can get... Still no wheat trade. Oof. Oh, look at this. Okay, he's done with that, so I can back away now, right? Supposed to get the magic over his head, isn't he? Hey, oh, by the way, I uh, killed off some villagers. <laughs> we have some new people in town. Mr. Bond is back. Our original one, we lost him somewhere. Um, I don't know where he went, but he is actually worth 13 emeralds for an iron chest plate is his, uh, his beginning trade. So we'll, uh, we'll see, but I, I, I killed some of the villagers off, so we get some new ones in here. And as you can see, there is love in the air. I'm going to have to let this take place before I try to uh, bargain with this fella again. <laughs> it's only right. <laughs> okay, guys, come on. Come on. Unbelievable. Hey, what happened to... What happened here? Did you see that? Oh, the emeralds are gone. And the wool all came back to me. What the heck? What... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You. I just made this trade with you. How did you get all that wool back? Oh. Wait a minute. What the heck happened there? All my wool is back. I still have two emeralds. But all of my wool is now back. And that trade is not open with him anymore. Oh. Something weird just... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hmm. I had, I had something better than this going on here. Now the wool trade's not even there. At all. All right, I'm going to leave that alone, and uh, if you see that, let me know what you think happened there. Is this a bug going on right now? I don't know how I got all that wool back, but I still managed to get two emeralds off of him. But now, I don't have any trades that I can do to just get emeralds from him. He had two at one time. He had the, the wheat for emeralds and the white wool for emeralds, and now the white wool seems to be gone. I thought it was between... Was it between the bread and the water? Hmm. Uh, I'm confused by what happened here. I'm confused. Help. Help, people. Help. 
Oh, love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Oh, this guy's rude. He's bumping into him and stuff. Hmm. That I didn't. Uh, I didn't like. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. So we do have. Uh, we do have this guy in town now. We have a nice blacksmith that we can work with. Hopefully someday, if my trading works out all right. Ooh, this guy wants coal for emeralds. Ooh, is that so? I just happen to have a ton of that. A ton. Stay right there. Let's get some coal. Uh, what I meant to say, and I keep trying to say, is that I added a few doors in the village, and I put one of these out here as well, thinking it might help them, uh, you know, add a few extra villagers that we might take a look at and trade with. That's a new guy right there. We did not have that trade before with the villagers that we had in here. So let's see, let's see what happens if I trade coal with him. We'll run back here to the GE real fast and grab some coal. I think you guys enjoy riding around with me when I am working here at the GE. I felt like it was time to do a little bit of the maintenance stuff, you know. This is this to me is like maintenance work. We have to get some of this stuff done just so we can, uh, you know, move on to the next project. you got to do a little bit of this here and there, right? It's fun stuff as opposed to just work, 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 work. All right, let's, uh, let's grab some coal. Look at this inventory of mine now. <laughs> it's getting all getting all messed up. That was weird. That was so weird. So, so very, very weird what happened. Maybe some of you know exactly what happened and said, no radio, that's, that's how that works. But uh, I think, I think something went wrong there. I, I truly do. Let's go down and find that guy. I believe that is a butcher with charcoal. And I imagine he's trading his coal for emeralds so he can heat his, 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 uh, furnaces right yeah to cook uh here you are is this you i hope this is you you go crazy somebody trade with me i'll do it i'll do it relax Ooh. nice okay that trade's gone nine emeralds okay he's now he's he's oh he's oh, oh. <laughs> i'm getting excited here Okay, he's opening up another trade now. I could do this again. Ooh, it's less coal this time. Look at that. Oh, boy. All right. Thank you, sir. Can we do that again? Let the magic bubbles go. Oh, this guy's going to help us out a lot. Oh, there's a wolf. Uh, what do we got here? Raw pork chop. Okay, so he wants 17 raw pork chop. We have one pig, and like I said, I can't find any more animals. Boy, we are just running into dead ends here, but I can do this one with him again. So let's do this one again. Okay, that trade's closed. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's closed, closed. Okay, so that, that's what that means, huh? No more magic, so I've actually worn out my welcome with this guy. But if I leave him alone for a little while, can I come back, like, Maybe a, after a Minecraft day goes by and be able to do that again. Oh, look at what's going on out here in our NPC village. There is just so much stuff going on. I love hanging out here. I, I would take that from you. By the way, we need a an Iron Golem farm. <laughs> As I talk nicely about the Iron Golem, I'm, I'm thinking that I would like to have a, a farm. All right, it looks like we have ourselves a new villager that's got a good trade for emeralds. We wound up picking up. Let's see what we got off of that. Let's see what kind of booty we got here. Um, 21. That's not bad. 28 total right now, so that's pretty cool. We're back up a little bit with that. I tell you what, let's do oh, auto save. Sorry about this. <laughs> okay. Auto save over. Gosh, I think that means I've been recording for almost an hour. <laughs> I think that's exactly what that means. Uh, let's go back out and check the farm animals one more time and see how they're doing. I'm really kind of curious to see if maybe we've lost any. I'm hoping we haven't, but some time has gone by and we've not been out in that area. So we'll see if the stock silos 
still hold a nice big room of sheep and cows. The real test, of course, will be after a, a few days go by without being out here. By the way, by the way, real quick, we went underneath. I went underneath the uh, the cow cooker, and we do have 40 leather and uh, a little more than a stack of uh, uh, beef right now in there. So that's kind of nice. We've got some backup down there. We're going to want that leather for the books, of course. Um, let's see. Well, it looks to me like we still have quite a few sheep in here, which is very good news. Yeah, so I think, I think our problem might be, uh, you know what, I know how to test this real fast here. Let's see if we have lost any animals since we were gone. We'll try to breed them. Since we would reached the maximum level, we should not be able to, uh, to breed the animals. Let's take a look and see. Wow, that was weird. The villager gave me all that back, plus emeralds. Come here, guys. There we go. Okay. Maximum number reached. Sorry, guys. Sorry. False alarm. False alarm. <laughs> Oh, all right. It looks like uh, it looks like they fixed that bug. But uh, what it was going on with the villagers? I'm gonna just keep on uh, working on the white wool down here as we uh, continue our progress on the GE71. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. I would love it if you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share, all that great stuff. I'm the Radio Man Zero Three, and I will talk to you again next time.